Hello guys and welcome to SimUK. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use your controller in either ETS2 or American Truck Simulator to walk around outside of the truck in a semi almost realistic way. My hopes for this tutorial are to obviously help you out, enable you to be able to do this in your game, but also uh, my hope is to highlight to SCS software just how versatile and how useful this could be for us as players. It's basically already in the game. They just could make it so much um, more uh, intuitive and user-friendly. It wouldn't take them a lot of programming time, and this time next year, maybe if they watch this video, they'll implement it. So this is how you do it. You must have played the game previously. Uh, and you come into your documents folder and you'll see that there's an American truck or a European truck folder in there. Um, you'll need to open the config.cfg uh, file. My recommendation, of course, is to copy that file and make a backup file copy of it before you edit it. And if you want a really good editor, then I highly recommend you download Notepad++. It's completely free, very decent indeed. So you'd right click on that, edit with Notepad++. And there are two things we need to change. And you can type into search here. You can either just search for developer or you can type for G underscore developer. And it'll take you straight to this file here. What you need to do is change a zero to a one like so making sure that you don't delete the quotation marks and the other thing you need to find is console now again you can just type in console or you can type g underscore console it's not case sensitive because i haven't set it to be do not change console state uh, what you want to change is g underscore console again that'll be a zero just need to delete that and change it to a one that will enable the uh, external camera or the developer camera to be active in your game and then all you need to do when you're in game is press zero yeah zero will take you underneath the truck annoyingly it doesn't save um height position or anything like that this could so easily be implemented by scs software and it's such a shame that they haven't done it okay so the basic premise is that you can get out and you can check any for any obstacles or just look at the angle that your truck is at and the trailer is at so that you can park as you want to be able to park. It's obvious what the benefits are. Let me go through and very briefly show you how you need to set this up. So the first thing you need to do is set Steam into big screen mode. This will allow you to come in and manage your game and set up the controller configuration settings. Now, the first time you try it, it will say configuration support is disabled. Um, you need to turn on the Xbox One controller support. You'll need to do this for any controller that you're trying to attach to this method. So say OK and go back into the Steam settings. Go into controller settings and then you'll see there's a whole bunch of options here this one is xbox configuration support this is the one that i personally need but depending on what controller you're using it will have an option there and you'll just need to turn it on go back into your library at that point pick your selected game click on manage game and if you come over to controller options you can see that you now have uh, these controller options uh, available to you. Just click on OK, you don't need to change anything in there. Just come up here into the uh, console. Now I have exported my configuration uh, to the public, so if you search for Sim UK uh, Realistic Walking American Truck Simulator, you'll be able to find this um, config file for this game and you can just copy it yourself but basically there's nothing you can do and i tried a few different ways of doing this there's nothing you can do with the controller initially what you need to do is go to the template and set the controller up to act and behave like a keyboard and mouse that gives you the mouse control capability in order to look around using your controller and it also gives you the numpad input controls so that you can walk about and raise and lower the height of the camera and speed up and slow down the camera as well so uh, these are the things you're going to have to do but i've already set it up um in a semi-realistic way that i like i'm going to be using it and i'll be tweaking it and i'll be uploading new versions of it you just need to go in and install that version to your 
uh, particular controller and then it will just work instantly. I highly recommend you um, tweak it, play around with it, change it to your heart's content and then save it, share it and um, it would be great if we had a whole bunch of different versions out there. And if you do anything cooler that um, I haven't done, something that you figure out that I haven't perhaps, please do let me know. It would be great. I'd love to tie it in with my um, config file as well.